Bean. This is Dixie Silver Girl here in the shop tonight for a little bit of fire on this Hallow's Eve with the miner. Evening, y'all. How are we doing tonight? Hope everyone is having a fun evening, getting more treats than tricks. I know we had a very nice time this evening out trick-or-treating with uh, Captain K. Hello, Slacker. Welcome, welcome. Slacker, how you doing tonight, buddy? Happy Halloween to you. Are you working this evening? Or did you get to uh, wear that awesome costume you were posting in Discord? Or both. Some people dress up when they go to work. Oh. And we do have our bowl of candy. There's no British candy in it. But we do have oh, candy. Steve, he's right. Slacker's ready for the night to be over. He must be working. Hello, corn dog. God bless you, got work so, huh? I think he has a couple of pours for us this evening. There's a copper and a sterling, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to pour a copper skull. We had a request from a gentleman in England um, for one of the accessorized skulls. I'm real excited. I think this one's going to turn out real nice. But I started my copper a little late, so um, we got a toad here. That's Halloween, right? Toads. Hello, hello, our, I don't want to say your name wrong, but welcome. It's just getting things fired up here. Get that torch going and melting some metal. You think it's sterling, huh? Yes. Because it's a piece you're going to want to play with. Well, I guess that's a pretty good reason to turn the light on. We'll take a peek over here while he is getting things ready. He's finished up a few pieces over the weekend. The octopus that he poured the other night and that seashell. And there's the whale. And this dolphin is just gorgeous. He's been having a lot of fun with critters lately. I still love the mushroom because it's so much fun to touch the lines on the bottom and the bumps on the top. And there's the copper frog. He's going to do one in sterling this evening for us. Thirteen Grim Thirteen, thanks for joining us. Well, I will sit down, I'll be okay, I guess. 
D-Wings World. Good evening, sir. All right. Get a little fire going. We've got a Halloween theme going this evening with a toad and a skull. Slacker couldn't even hear what you said about the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, really? Yes. I'm mumbling to myself over here again. Damn it, Slacker, you're going to make my wife correct on that I mumble too much. I'm going to start believing everybody. <laughs> Oh, I've been in agony, guys. I thought my hip was finally giving out. I've had, always had problems with my hip. And I uh, finally had to go to the doctor. She said uh, that it's a pinch sciatica. Flame sciatica nerve. Sciatic nerve. Steroids and muscle relaxers. Welcome, Relic Hunter 71. There was a lot of green flames coming off there. I assume that is uh, D Wings was starting a uh, little witch's brew. It looked like it was really cool. Or maybe witch's that was hat. your. Or maybe the witch's brew was the modern medicine. Either way, it applies to both. I hope everyone is having a safe and fun Halloween evening. We did a little trick-or-treating tonight. It was uh, eight boys all dressed in black. I'm not sure how we managed that one because we didn't plan it that way. Ah, Slacker and D-Wings both said they're very sorry to hear about your pinched nerves because that's no fun. And Corn Dog said he's dealt with that before, so... Oh, the toad and the skull is a witch's brew. See, it works all kinds of different ways. Looks pretty good, all in all. surprising tonight as we were driving uh, home after our trick-or-treating fun and it seems like there was a lot less lights on this year than there was last year Isn't that beautiful? Oh, <laughs> uh, D Wings, that's funny. I actually uh, chatting with Sacker earlier, and I said it was a very successful candy plunder for Captain K and his crew. Smaller pliers, smaller bowls. They ain't working. There we 
go. That could have been ugly. La Three Artisans, thanks for joining us. Just in time to see the beautiful pour. No, but that is an awesome idea, D-Wings. Not like any splatter, Joe. Oh, but that was a pretty pour. Look at that. Yeah, it's got my little heart pitter pattering. Uh, D-Wing said that there is a Reese's vending machine where you can exchange the candy you didn't like for Reese's cups. That's neat. That is. That was a beautiful pour. I agree, D-Wings. It's an amazing pour about to go down. So pretty. It was beautiful. That drops. Oh, nice. <laughs> Slacker said... He doesn't mind working Halloween because he's working in a scary place. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to take a peek and see how our copper is coming along. Should be ready. Just take another peek across here while he is getting set up again. And a few new pieces he got finished over the weekend. This dolphin is awesome. And the whale. I'm not sure. I like the other whale he's poured before too, but that's this one has a whole different feel to it. It's really fun. And there is the eel that he poured on Friday night. And he got the starfish finished. Say that five times fast. And that's a 3-9 octopus is all done. And that snail shell with the tons of lines on it. So that eel, did we want to fire paint that? We absolutely want Tessa to fire that. paint that. I have not seen Tessa yet, however, it is early there. She may be trick-or-treating with the grand... Oh, well, that's much more important. Yes. Neil the eel. <laughs> What's that? Neil the eel? N Neil the eel. Hello, PMC Supplies. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for showing up again. Appreciate that. We do appreciate it. Absolutely. We just poured a sterling frog. And uh, I think we're going to do a little fire painting on the copper eel that he poured the other night. And then we've got a copper skull. Let's just give that copper a minute. Okay, it's almost there. Mr. Moray. That's his name, Mr. Moray. I know he's really fun to hold on to. see he um, after he poured him he has now shaped him so he's got a little uh, personality there with his tail flipping around <laughs> doing he's really excited he can't wait for his uh, 
stuff to arrive in the mail. Oh, I'm excited too. Yes. I hope you like it. Thanks for letting me get a little creative with it. I personally was very sad to see it leave. Sample Slob Man, thanks for joining us. I think we're going to get to see a little fire painting now on Neil the Eel or Mr. Moray. I think I'm just going to warm the steel up and let that sit for a little bit. Oh, okay. Well, what, can we watch you do that? Yeah. Is there fire? That's interesting. Is there fire? Then we're good. Graphite, I like to pour that as soon as I can from that tabletop. Went through so many crucibles. Yes, even with seasoning them. <laughs> Dewing said, no problem. You're the artist, brother. You gotta make it what you want it to be. Sometimes it's not even up to him. It's with the metal. It's up to me. It looks like hell. Uh, yeah, I just do what the metal says is when it seems to work. I still haven't figured out how everything goes together yet. So listen to this. I had this old doctor, old Marcus Welby type of doctor, man. He must have been like 72, 75. Love that man. He was excellent. Told you exactly like it was. No sugar coating. Just the way it is. And he up and retired on me. So they gave me this new lady. I saw her a couple of years ago and I really liked her. I hadn't had the opportunity to go back. I had to go back and I went today. Did Man, she's doing a good job at trying to replace that old man. Hats off to anybody that is trying like that. Let's grab this one. It's great to see it. Let's oh, see what happens here. The other side. Probably going to get sloppy. It's a lot of copper. There it is. Oh, that is going to be so sweet. He was very excited about the mold when we got home from trick or treating. So, oh, look at those beautiful colors coming out. Yeah, air vents around the. Yes, Sea Wings, I agree. He said it's always great when you have a doctor you can connect with. Well, she's got a pair of shoes to fill, that girl does. <coughs> Doing a hell of a job at it, I feel. Really, really nice to see it. Over and above. Burn, metal, burn. It's like picking the right brush to paint with. Your eyes, please. I need to get a hold of whoever stamped these tips. I'm guessing it's not to tell them they did a great job. Oh, well, it was a wonderful job. I need to figure out where they got their stamps. Tight.
Happy Halloween, Reckless Metals. Reckless. I have to say, I'm digging that mermaid bar. Wish I could make it darker for y'all, but I gotta still be able to see it. This has all been pickled and cleaned, tumbled and hand brushed. 1500 grit. Just got done putting wax on it. No corrosion. Yes, D Wings, check out Reckless's uh, profile. Yes, the extra time definitely shows. He said that it takes a while to color those uh, mermaid bars he's been doing. It, well, beautiful job. Anybody watch and check out Reckless. I love to see that creativity. And that definitely does take extra time to make the if there's anybody new out there stumbled on us please give some other of these fellow artists some love so much talent it's crazy I love looking through our Instagram feed because you never know what's gonna pop up next Good evening, Long Island Silver. I don't know anybody that's doing it to get rich. You gotta love it or it's not valid. It's not, it's not worth it. There's not enough premium in it. Takes so long. Oh, no, the metal, when he starts hitting it with the flames, the colors start popping out. And depending on all the different factors, sometimes you see more blues or sometimes more reds. Sometimes you see the full rainbow. And then once he removes the heat, that's when the colors really start to pop. But you do see a change on it. I know it's really hard in this light. Oh, Reckless said that hamburger and fry pour was fire. That was so much fun. It was. That was inspired. This deep Finney came to me with an opportunity and we made it work. Yeah. I like the way this one's acting. You do or you don't? Not really. No, I might be wrong. I see a lot of colors popping across the top of it. I can't see the sides real well because it's in the shadow. There it is. And there it is. See? Sometimes it takes a minute to come out. Let's see. How Let's that see. side. Oh, there you go. You can see some colors popping on that one. Lots of reds and blues in there. Let's give it a minute. Oh, cool. Reckless said he just did a hand-poured silver pizza. He'll be dropping some pictures soon. It changes color when he puts it on the <clears throat> anvil, too. That's when you really start seeing uh, some of the colors popping out. Yeah. Mm. 
There's a little silver look on it. Sometimes you can see a, a silver glint or a gold to it. It's crazy, the colors of how each piece takes the heat differently, depending on the surface and... The same piece will take the heat differently. If I don't like it, I run it through the pickle and polish it again and it'll take it completely different the next time. Oh, cool, D-Wings. Well, you know where to find us. Oh, and what an adorable frog. Awesome. He's beautiful. I like that frog. He's a fun one to hold, too. We have the copper one, and uh, I have caught Captain K picking that up several times because he said that it's fun to hold. Oh, I can't wait to get that in the light box and get some uh, real good color. We shall call him Prince. Prince has been born. Are you supposed to name the toad for the witch's brew, though, D-Wings? Only the second one of those you've done. Wow. That was a lot of copper. That's excessive. That was, uh, I, mean, I, I weighed out like 14 and a half ounces. So this is step one of the beautiful skull that will be accessorized in silver. Why not personalize your skulls, right? Watch that clay. It's going to burn through. Watch it. It's getting darker and darker. <laughs> we can name him even though he's going in the witch's brew because it's easier to say goodbye to him if he has a name. You can see that sand turning dark and dry in there on the top. That's crazy watching it happen. That is hot. Oh yeah, you can still see the dark spot even when we step back. And that wasn't there when you first pulled that off. That was the oxygen. Pit. Yep. That's crazy. Oxygen. It's the worst thing you can do for your body. Breathe. Take another look at the eel. Got a shadow on them like that. Let's see. There we go. Now you can see those colors popping out on him. Oh, you can see him. He's looking at us. He was looking at us. He also do that. Thank you, Reckless. Have a good night. Happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. He said he's going to pass out candy. Remember, it's one for them, two for you. Screw him. Just say you did it. Kids, they don't need it. Oh, 
our kids' dentist will pay you um, $5 a pound for any candy that you take into the office tomorrow. This is hell, right? It's a buyback program. She doesn't want them to eat all that candy. That's counterproductive to her business. It seemed like it to me, too. I think she just did it as a goodwill gesture to the parents, because the kids aren't going to want to do that. The right thing to do. Nice. Everybody's got a gimmick. Baby? It is hot, y'all. Oh. All right, we need to get in there. Those teeth. Doesn't he look delicious? Take candy, get money, buy silver. It's a good plan. Well, we're enjoying these accessorized skulls. It allows for a lot of creativity, a lot of personalization on them. Happy to be doing them. Thanks, D Wings. He said, "Awesome skull." Thank you. And Corn said, "Ooh, like that." Like that. It's a direct quote. Ooh, like that. The other metals. So pretty, but it's so expensive to work with. It's the crucibles, it's the gas, it's the sand. Ooh, Slacker said you need to do a dragon skull. Oh, Slacker. Imagine that. He had a suggestion that involved a dragon. I never would have guessed. Slacker, we gotta broaden your horizons here. What we gotta do to get you into something a little flowery. <laughs> I don't think the uh, slack tour, the dragon master, is going to give up on his dragons anytime soon. Not with the awesome story he's been writing anyway. We have been enjoying the slack tour tales. Nah, Slacker, he's not hating you. Who, me? He said, ah, oh, the miner's going to start to hate me. Ha, ha, ha. There's a whole bunch of smiling, laughing faces. Right. There you go, corn dog. Slacker needs to do the dragon skull. I know he's working hard getting his uh, dungeon set up so he can pour in the dungeon. That's right. One thing, and you're going to be doing all your own work here in a little bit. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have time to do other work for other people. Wow, that was. See, that's not my hand there. I came from somewhere else. It's beautiful. Well, I think that is an excellent step one for the commission's pirate right, skull. We are on track. Awesome. So I can get the other ideas that I've been working with together. This will be one beautiful present for your son, your daughter. I can't remember. 
Once again, going all the way across the pond with this one. Um, is that showing up? Oh, yes, now he is. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's set that next to the toad and the eel, too, if you want. We're going to put all of our witch's brew ingredients together. Gargoyles. Gargoyles are cool. No, it's a frog. Dynamic, thanks for joining us in EJ1011. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Just taking a look at a copper and sterling pour that he did this evening. Sterling Toad. It's turned over. Copper Skull. Uh, Slacker said it's an alien. It has antennas. A little flashing on that one leg there. Trim that right oh, off. He's adorable. The toes. Oh, he looks great. That belly looks like you can uh, just rub his little belly. Look at that. Right. Well, I think those are some very appropriate Halloween pours. Skull, a toad, and a fire painted eel. some more heat or something. I'm not happy with it. Yes, Prince is looking great. He's got all those bumps on the back there. Oh, they're so much fun to touch when it gets done like that. Well, I would say that's another successful evening in the shop. Oh, I gotta get off my feet. I'm yes. A bunch of people can't let me tomorrow. I can't let them down again. And I know that uh, many of you, it's still early, so you still have uh, Halloween to finish up. Now that Captain K has gone to bed, we're going to go get his candy stash and uh, look for our favorite candy bars in it. I thought you were going to tell us we were doing something better than that. Better than getting the good candy bars before he wakes up? Out of my imagination, run. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. That's on you, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll have to handle it myself again. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us. D Wing said, Feel better, Miner. Thank you, D Wings. I'll be good. Appreciate the concern. And the slackers. Oh, and Corn Dog. Everyone's wishing you uh, a speedy you so recovery. Much. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a safe and happy rest of what's left of Halloween. Don't eat too much candy. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you all over at YouTube on Friday night. Can't wait to see you then. Once again, thank you all. We will see Please you then. Subscribe if you stumbled in. Absolutely. Happy stacking. Stacking now.